Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Pocket, and today I'm going to be showing you guys all something very, very different. This time, I'm actually going to be showing you guys something that I only usually do in the live stream. I do do a live stream once in a while, but I haven't done it in a really long time because a lot of people don't watch live streams. So, now with that said, let's carry on. You guys all probably read the title of the video, so I don't have to repeat myself about that, so let's go ahead and hop on in and show you guys how. Okay, so once you're on in your truck, you should see I got a nice new skin. I made a skin if you guys want to learn how to do that. There's a lot of videos already out there, but if you want me to teach you, you can go ahead and tell me that in the comments below. And let's go ahead and hop in. So first, you stick in the key, of course. You, I recommend let all those lights and those, uh, those bars in the corner there, let that all turn on. And then once that's all done, then go ahead and stick the key in and start it. Okay, of course if you have it in beginner mode or whatever that thing's called, you should be able to just press a button and it starts, but I like it a lot more realistic, so... When you have a truck, I wish I could have a webcam and show you guys my shifter, but... First of all, you guys should look at this diagram. This diagram shows you where the gears are. So if I go on a normal car, this is the... I'm getting all confused. Okay, so this is the slide of a normal car. This is how a truck is, okay? So I'm gonna... When I say one, I'm just saying that according to the car gear list. So the first gear in a car is reverse on a truck. The second gear in a car is low on a truck. There we go. A third gear on a car is one, then fourth is two, like that, okay? And then reverse. If you put it in reverse and press your top toggle, you'll go into your second reverse. Then, if you go back into the low reverse, you can use the down toggle to toggle between high and low. You can do the same with the, with the reverse two high and low. Then you have low, then you press the top one, you have low high. There's no low, low, high, so you don't have to worry about that confusion. Then there's just one, one high, two, two high, three, three high, four, four high. Then you press the top toggle and go into one. You now have five and five high, six and six high, seven and seven high, eight and eight high. So, now let's go back down, split it down, that's what, that's what it's called. Let's go back into one, let's say hi, and let's go ahead and take this thing for a little bit of a ride. Now, as you can see, you gotta make sure you watch that spinner thing right there. That thing it's going up and down right now. That was the uh, RPMs meter. That's where what you gotta watch and make sure it doesn't go too high. I recommend you don't go a little bit higher than that. If you go any higher than that, it does do a lot of damage to the engine because that's very unhealthy. If you want to go faster, you gear up and then the the RPMs go down while you speed up, so that's that's how it makes sense. So let's just uh, turn off this road here and give it a little bit of a try. Okay, it's green, so let's go for it. So, now you split up to 5. Then 5 high is what I need to go 30, so I can keep it that. And then I can use the cruise control to lock it at 30. Just because your truck is manual doesn't mean you don't have a cruise control. What it does mean is that you can't... Um, what's it called? Uh, you can't. It doesn't auto-shift gears, that's the only thing. Make sure you split down when you're decreasing, and you slowly go down to a low gear as you decrease. Now normally when you're driving, you only use the main gears. The gear like low, that's only used for when you're uh, trying to just pick up a really big thing. Like one of those big trailers over there. You would, you maybe would have to start them in this low gear, but not necessarily. You can also just hold down the clutch and then start it. Make sure you always hold the clutch down when you stop. That's one thing you need to learn. Of course, you should know that if you already drive a manual car. 
Another thing is when you're not using a trailer, you normally don't have to use the low and high, so the main thing is you gotta play with it, and then once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to perfectly drive this thing. How I learned, actually, was just by starting and struggling till I found out. Go ahead and put on our parking brake, shut off the engine, and that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the dis- dis- not, they're not called discussions, they're called comments. Go ahead and post them down there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.